when you first meet somebody and you're thinking, wow, this person might be a good partner for me, um, we all tend to sit down and we talk about all the possibilities and we get excited and we almost like create this exponential frenzy of excitement. What we tend to not spend time on is the what ifs around when things go wrong. So I think a lot of the questions are more, remember a partner is long term. And so you really have to force yourself to say, where are we going to be five years from now? Where do you want to be five years from now? And that doesn't just mean socioeconomically in terms of how much money do you want to make, but where do you want to be in terms of your family? Where do you want to be geographically? You know, do you have other family um, responsibilities or aspirations that we should just talk about? They may not even be relevant today, but just to know, right? I mean, you might have aging parents that you foresee yourself taking care of in a few years. You might have children. You might want to have children, but you don't. You might have a spouse. You might not have a spouse. Um, you might want to live on the beach. <laughs> and so those things that seem a little silly and maybe even not un unrelated are probably the most important things to talk about. You know, where does someone want to be in terms of their role in an organization? You know, founder is one role, but there's all sorts of other roles that you're going to have to play as the business reaches its different types of scale. Not every founder wants to be a CEO. Some founders want to be a salesperson. Some founders want to be on the finance side. And so understanding where the person wants to be and what their time horizon is. You know, some people say, I want to help start a business in three years. I want to do something else. You need to know that now because where I've made mistakes, it's when we've brought people together and we talked about all the things that could go right, but we didn't have that somewhat awkward conversation about if this blows up, what are you going to do? Are you going to go back to a big company that maybe you worked with before, in which case maybe it blowing up wouldn't be that sort of personally wounding to you, you should know that. Some people will hang on forever because the company becomes a part of their, who they are, and they're going to want to hold on. And so that's important to know because even if things go well and someone comes in and offers to acquire your company, are you going to agree on that? Or are you going to be fighting? And so knowing those things ahead of time, it's almost, you know, I did it one time and, and it seemed funny. We did a role-playing scenario. And, and, and it was almost fun. It was like a game. But a lot of your true reality comes out when you kind of role play, you know, if this happens, let's all envision the day when this happens. What would we do? What would you do next? What would we do the next month? And so having those scenario-based conversations about the end game are really important.